Kutcha is called You Can Never Go Back, and it is a commentary on what we're really left with at the end of life, which is simply a collection of memories. My name is Julia Ha, and we are at Iporium Gallery, also known as Annette Soller's shop, I Want. It's a really, really funky eyeglass shop, and she's a huge supporter of Chicago artists. I feel like in a lot of senses we're completely stripped naked and bare to the world. When you take everything away, when you take away all of the you know, monetary success, accolades, celebrity, any kind of status, when you take it all away at the end, the only thing you have left are these memories. And um, that's kind of what this piece is about. In the background, you can see my grandmother's hands folded over one another. And in the foreground, obviously, I've used myself, which I do, I tend to do kind of a lot, but I've used myself as the metaphorical person, so to say, or thing, you know, completely naked here to the world. I give you paprika. So we have food that's based on Julia's grandma, Olga, which I think a lot of her work is based on. So we kind of take that Eastern European inspiration. I made purple potato pancakes. On top of that is braised red cabbage with some shaved fennel and sauteed red onions. A Little bit of richness with some goat cheese mixed with some cream. Finish it off just a sprig of dill, a little bit of fennel frond, and some chives. Nick made a rendition on my grandmother's recipes, which speaks to her Russian heritage. He kind of dissected a lot of her recipes, like she used to make cabbage rolls and really, really traditional dishes. It was a rendition of the potato pancake, but with the, um, the cabbage. And my grandma used to make luckies. So he took that apart, dissected it, which he does beautifully. It really, really spoke to her original recipes. Julia designed the label for Journeyman Distillery's white whiskey. Regular whiskey is dark because of the oak barrels that it's in. It kind of takes a lot of the properties of the wood color and taste. And so Journeyman's white whiskey and white whiskeys in general are not aged in barrels at all. They're just distilled. So I wanted to put that oaked flavor into that. I added some seedling farm apple cider, just some soda for effervescence, and then topped it off with bitters from the Angostura tree that were aged in oak barrels. So again, adding oaky properties that aren't necessarily in the Journeyman whiskey into the whiskey through the Angostura bitters. I think he's really, really found a niche in connecting art with food. His food is, is very, very masterful and it's uh, colorful and it's heartfelt. For me, in a lot of ways, his food is a lot like a painting or a lot like artwork because it fuses meaning and color and flavor and all those things mingling together is really, really important in Chicago. I think food's important in Chicago. There's just a huge food culture here and he's really, really honed in and working with the arts community. I think that's really, really important. And kudos to him, I think he's amazing. There's no shortage of inspiration when you're working with artists. 
because they have this tremendous wealth of knowledge and experiences that is inspiring them to make their work, not to mention in some ways the empirical limitations they're dealing with, that it's very apparent the kind of work and inspiration that they have. And so to be able to use them as a source of creativity, it's great. Mm -hmm.